Well, good afternoon, and this is the Lord Life's Devotional with Pastor Hayton here. And today I want to talk about something that I think a lot of us could benefit from hearing about and uh, doing something about it. You know, the Bible says, Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. And yet how often do we lack the strength that we really need spiritually? We don't have strength to accomplish much for the Lord. Sometimes we don't have very much stamina in the face of difficulty or, or a, a battle against the enemy. I believe that there's just a lot of ways that our lack of spiritual strength does show up. Now I'm always bemoaning the fact that I'm not in very good shape physically. Now some of that has to do with my age. After all, I've lived nearly three quarters of a century. And uh, you know, as you get older, well naturally you experience a lot of changes physically. And yet I'm afraid that I've allowed myself to get sadly out of shape. I often boast back to when I was a young man and some of the things that I was able to do back when I worked in the grocery and feed store down in Wheatland, Missouri. I could be opening a box of a carton of cornflakes one minute and the next minute be over on the other side of the store uh, loading up uh, corn or some, corn, some kind of feed for a farmer that had come in to purchase feed. And I remember many a time I could walk up to a stack with 100 pound sacks and roll one over onto this shoulder. And one another 100 pound sack, I'd go over and roll it onto this shoulder and I'd walk out of the building carrying 200 pounds, throw it in the back of a pickup truck and to be on my way to something else, not really think too much about that. Think about when I had my bookstore, how many times I moved that bookstore and a lot of times I'd look at a big heavy fixture and I'd say, I'm not sure I can move that fixture. But I'd get my two-wheel dolly under it and I'd begin to get all psyched up and after a while I could get just about anything done that needed to be done. Well, sadly, I'm not in that kind of a shape today. I'm afraid that I've allowed myself to get sadly out of shape and one way that I know it is is that... Uh, uh, lack of mobility. I'm not as agile as I once was. I think about uh, putting on a suit the other day that not too long ago I could get the coat buttoned and now I can't uh, get it to, to the button to match the buttonhole and uh, just a lot of different ways that I realize that I am out of shape physically. Well, we don't have to be out of shape physically but it does take a lot of hard work to get in shape. It takes a proper diet, it takes exercise, it takes discipline, it takes a lot of hard work to get in shape physically. And I'm not sure that right at the time I'm motivated to devote uh, all the attention to getting in shape physically that I really need to. And as it takes a lot of work to get in shape physically, yeah, we don't get in spiritual shape very easily either. It's going to take the proper diet. And it's going to take exercising ourselves unto godliness. And, and you know those knee bends where we bend our knees before God in prayer. It's going to take some discipline of, of a, <coughs> excuse me, some discipline of, uh, you know, neglecting some things that are not conducive to good health. And so I think about our spiritual health today. It's going to take some work to get in shape spiritually going to take some discipline, going to take a good diet, going to take all that uh, we can muster up in the way of motivation to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. And I believe we ought to pay more attention to spiritual strength even than physical strength. So God stir our hearts today to do what's necessary to get in shape spiritually. Heavenly Father, help us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Lord, we know it's up to us to discipline ourselves. It's up to us to exercise ourselves unto godliness. It's up to us, Lord, to watch our diet. We pray that Thou will challenge us today to be in, in good spiritual shape. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'll see you tomorrow on Lord Light's devotional. And in just a little while, I'm going to be in the midweek prayer meeting, and I hope that will be a help to strengthen me. Goodbye now.